listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B. Wall, only on L.A. Talk Radio. He laughing already. Grady ain't even opened his mouth and be laughing. Rich, rich Rail. That's all I'm saying. Rich Rail music. I can't even do a damn <laughs> intro properly to this show. Why don't we do Rich Rail music? Uh, oh my uh, God! Oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> and people are gonna tell me oh, what you gonna do now. Shut up, fool! Oh, Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Social uh, Misconduct. Social Misconduct. What up, y'all? Uh, Mick, that's B. Walt. As you all can see, we have Ray Grady <laughs> on the show. Back on the show. <laughs> Damn. I don't know what that. I don't. I don't. Know. I don't, I don't my know. niece did it to me. She. I'm like, like I don't know what that is, <laughs> but. We'll like roll something. with it. We'll roll. Like if you all saw Ray Grady on our show before, it's been a while though, right? It's been a year. Mm-hmm. Damn. It's been a year. <laughs> well then. Yep. So it's been a while. So, so you may, if you're new, you haven't seen him. Yep. If you've been rolling with us, you have. This is the third time Grady's been on Social Misconduct, second time on LA Talk Radio. Mm. So welcome back. Man, thank y'all for having me, man. I couldn't wait. Anytime. I, you know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> y'all want some alto? You are. <laughs> He got them right here. On yeah, the I, table I do. I got the winter green because you get the, spearmint. These, these it, you know how people, though. you know when people be like, hey, man, you want some gum? And I'll be like, what kind of gum you got? And they be like, juicy fruit. I'll be like, I just mm, That ain't going to do shit. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> Fuck I'm juicy like, fruit. Stop watching do. the commercials, TV. Juicy Fuck fruit ain't going to do shit. And then Nothing. the flavor gone after like oh, two man. minutes and shit. It's almost like no. cinnamon. Huh? I it's almost like cinnamon. Say what? Cinnamon. Okay, nope. Big red. Ain't. It's like big red. But that one, how you say it, that's, that's, that's cinnamon. That okay. spice one, right? Yeah, but, wasn't it horrible? <laughs> horrible one. You know, I'll let you roll with shit. I'm not, I'm not letting you music. get away with the we stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> All right, don't do that. Don't do that. I love that nigga. Oh, my God. What? Joliet, what's up with it, B? What's been Stupid, up with you, man. crazy? Man, Damn. um, what? I had a uh, great show. For Valentine's Oh, Day yes, in Chicago. in Chicago. Shout out Remy Martin. Just Rich so Real you Music. all know. Well, y'all know we're from Chicago, but Grady is too. So. All day. <laughs> oh, I was going to start going back to my adolescent shit. <laughs> I would have, but I couldn't. Um. So how was the show? Sold uh, out again? Let me tell you something. Can I tell y'all something on some personal shit? I'm going to get personal. Um, When you have people come out in nine degree weather. I know. That's some real shit. You know they love that's you. That's humbling. For real. You they know what I'm love saying? You. Like, I joke. With people that I know and love, so no, you motherfuckers out there don't don't think you can joke with me. <laughs> yeah, he I don't do play that play. shit. I do. We are not friends. You want to laugh? Go to one of his yeah, shows. Yeah. So, um, you know, it was a, uh, it was just real. Uh, it was pleasant. And the CP. line be out yeah, the door. Yeah. Snows freezing in Chicago. And it was that like let Friday, you know, man. Friday night was clear, and then Saturday snow. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, Sunday was, you know, whatever. But it got no more than, like, two inches. Because what's this, the fourth year? The fourth. Yeah, I thought so. I was jealous, too. I was so jealous. Jealous of what? Well, because I wanted to be my 14th, but it's the fourth. So I had Why? To I mean, four years, though, to be able to do a solid weekend sold out every time mm-hmm. in Chicago mm-hmm. in the dead of fucking winter. It's and, like and, the and coldest and month. Y'all, like, we've that's been, dope as hell. You from Chicago. You from Chicago. You know how rough our city is mm-hmm. um niggas don't waste outfits <laughs> then there's that okay and then um you have um so much you know what the media portrays to about the city yeah and i was like nah no shootout no fights no arguments um you may get a couple drunk chicks fall out i made a bitch fall out her chair forward oh my God. i am uh, not fucking forward. funny not forward though <laughs> i am fucking funny <laughs> Because I rode with you the first three years, and people would be mad. Like, if they didn't get tickets on time, yeah. we would tell people, get your shit ahead yeah. of time. Yeah, they man. mad because they sold out. Yeah. Like, people be pissed. Like, it would, it would put it showing like up the day of trying to get in. You do get you, do you want to hit a cherry on top? Y'all want to hit a cherry on top? The owner makes a beeline to the stage and gets up and talks about how well I am as a draw uh financially for mm-hmm. the club my look in the club and i was like speak shit no. right because <laughs> who else nice. selling out full fucking weekends Man. every goddamn year and but you shit, shit. <laughs> just saying yeah no nah, i ain't doing that so and then i, I did saying. now here, here goes uh 
last thing, then we get to the show. So I had this chick, and you know how I hate the media, social media. You know that's not great as shit. <laughs> I but used to force them. <laughs> you and, you know, my manager Tiffany, she they be on me like, look, you know, hey, nigga, you got to do it. I'm like, no, the fuck I don't. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. So I finally read, and it fucked my day up. You know, this is personal shit, so it fucked my day up. So I read uh, a comment, and the sister was like, she was disappointed, and it was like, I came for the past two years, and I read that shit, and I'm like, so did you have fun? So she was like, I was disappointed. You know, we heard some of those jokes before, and I was like, no. Mm. I said, okay. you know what? I said, well, unfortunately, you were in the minority, okay? And after that, I, you know, I was just kind of thinking like, okay, what can I really say to stunt, the, you know, the growth, <laughs> but then, I didn't want to give her the move of like, look, let me tell you something. Because when you're an artist, you don't you don't apologize yeah, you for do shit. All that. Yeah. I don't apologize for shit. I don't give a so fuck. So she was about mad that. because she heard some of the same. No, nah, I probably one of them chicks that wanted to date me. Because you know? <laughs> I'm I'm decent on the eyes and I got a real man voice. And tell us how you really feel about good. yourself. Yeah, though. yeah. And I got a real beard. <laughs> tell us how you really uh, feel. I love chicken wings. Uh, I don't Jan even J. see Fish. how that got anything to do with what we talking about. No, no, but it was just that was my first time dealing with um, someone coming up to you telling you what they didn't on like. on social media, not uh -huh. personally, right? And so the chick playwright Naima, she called me. She was like, "Man, you know what you gonna do?" I said, "You know what." I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete the shit. And she said, you about to be the smartest motherfucker I've ever heard. She said, cause most people leave it up there. You always wanna keep people, you know what I'm saying? Do your damage control like, oh cool, thank you for coming out, wait till you see next year. If you disappointed this year, wait till you see next year. Mm -hmm. She said, nigga, nobody would do that but you. You the only motherfucker that would be like, say something, Get rid of the shit, then delete it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get it off my chest. <laughs> and right? then delete it. So they the like, we don't like B Wall outfit. And then you say, what don't worry about fuck my my money is this. That's too much. That's too much explaining who you are. I this agree. is what it is. End the discussion, delete the joint, and then come back and be like, yay. And I like the bitch post. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the up. Fuck the up. And then I found out what. She thought you were going to apologize. E -E 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 -H offer free me. tickets to the next show to make it up. Man, and I shit called like my that. sister. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, sis, I'm like, gee, what's this E E E E H mean? She was like, that mean ugh. I was like, hell no, you can put ugh. Not E E E H. That's what. <laughs> that's that's new what. Shit for me. That's right what the I'm chick. Saying. That's what she put on it. Once I let her know, like we slapped her, we slapped her like pop pop. You know, psh, beat her up in the wall like <laughs> boop boop boop. <laughs> Lyrical warfare, and then she was like. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that was I was like, yeah, we beat the bitch up. Don't worry about it. We so beat the bitch up. Stupid. So that was, um, I was in, uh, I called Tiff and I was like, yo, nigga, don't tell me shit about if, who like my show, who don't like my show. I don't want to hear none of that shit. So, because it fucked my day up. I was, it took me about half the But day. it's come, like, it'll become. Like a normal thing for you though. But because when you I'm, start doing these movies that I already know you start filming. We're gonna talk about that yeah, a later. Yeah. We'll talk about that so later. Like, but let's get into the show. Let's like it'll fun. come. Like you're gonna get negative shit, you're gonna get positive shit. You know, you can't like you said, you can't worry about any of it. I mean, right. always embrace the positive, yeah, of course. Yeah. You always want to be humble and like appreciate people that's there for you yeah, and true fans. Yeah. But the negative shit gonna be there too. But and I, I, I just felt like it was just they paying attention though, right? I don't like that type of but shit. But they still paying attention. Don't like Either me, way, you still up. know what I'm doing. You still made it to my page. Yeah. You still paying. So I don't give yeah. a fuck, really, yeah. at the end of the day. Look, all I know is I've seen this dude hold down a set for 30 minutes because ah. the headliner got there late. Remember that shit? What it was the yeah. uh, what was we at? Um, Chuck? No, 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 no. The one the over there. The I mean, the union. The, the union. The comedy union. That, yeah, boy, that boy called me. <laughs> he called me. Let me tell you what B. Walt said. Social misconduct. The host said, Grady is a fucking comedic genius. Dude. He always said it about you. I Dude. said, what? I said, nigga, I ain't been in the game long as we know motherfucking genius. He team. always say that. Dude. Huh, how was it though? The bro? girl, I, I can't remember her name. She's funny too. I follow her. I can't that was your name first right time seeing Which Grady one? live? Uh, uh, I, yeah, that was his first time. Yeah. That was his first time. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, ooh, Walt here? Have a seat. 
Watch but this. he was, you know what I'm saying? Because you you were hosting it. He's yeah. hosting it. Yeah, I'm oh, a okay. host, yeah. Okay. But I guess old girl got there late or something. Mm-hmm. And you got a host. Had, the host. Right. Yeah, but you, you could tell this what like this was just coming off the top of his head. Boom, 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 boom. Motherfuckers mm-hmm. laughing their ass off. Yeah. Laughing it. And it, it had to be at least 30 minutes. Oh, 30 yeah. minutes is just straight off the top of the dome. The uh, producer. Girl, he could probably do two, three hours then. Yeah. <laughs> he got so much yeah. material. And, and I, then I he don't even got to have material. material. Yeah. Shit's just like, have just fun. improv. Yeah, like, have fun. Yeah, have fun. I watched him do the first time I saw him. He went, we, we were in that. Um, Neutral ground. Yes, that is Western. the name is of it. it. Is, well, well, I forgot in the hood. So I was like, hood. "Where the fuck are y'all saying?" Neutral ground. My ass. Dope. He was dope. But that was the first time I saw him yeah. perform, and, and I was scared as shit. But he came <laughs> up with some shit. shit that wasn't in like his set or whatever. <laughs> I mean, he talking about how the neighborhood looked like from boys in the hood <laughs> and shit. I look like too. we in a garage. I'll never yeah. forget some of the shit that he said that day. So remember all that, that dude came dropped off the top quarter. His, his quarter rolled on the stage. I went up under the grand piano. <laughs> like he just why is it a grand piano on stage it was <laughs> it was a grand piano bitch one open was it um, halloween de- it decorations was halloween. i remember like a big ass spider or something Man. being on the st- it was something and when you get let me tell y'all something when you have veal um laughing at your shit because i you ain't laughing like, nobody yeah, before laughing he went on so he she was just, looking at me like so ain't shit funny <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I, I didn't think she was having a good time, man. He was like, ain't nothing funny to yeah, you. I'm like, that's right. I, I said, I'm going to be up. I said, I'm going to be up. She said, nigga, when you going up, nigga? And the, the <laughs> chick who's running the show is like 20 feet from her, and she can hear her. Because, you know, Ville, you <laughs> Don't know, give she, a fuck. She packs a punch when she gets to talking and shit. Don't so care. she's like, yo, when you going up? Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. All right. Uh, so I'll go up. And uh, Ville, first, I think my first. Five seconds. That was dying. dying. So that was it. I, I was Probably like, was oh. hitting Tiff and shit. Yeah, like, oh so, my god. <laughs> but no, for the for him at the union, um, the uh, producer of the show, Twyla. Oh, yeah, she I'm was familiar like, with. Yeah, him. Twyla. She is she a G. I call her dude. You know what I'm saying? She act like a dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Twyla. Oh so uh, she was just like, "Yo, G, hold the show down till you know till the headliner get here." Hey, that's easy right no problem you could do that easy so so when you saw that you know i was like I, I didn't even look at him you know i didn't even look at being you know some people were like what you think i was like no nah, just and he was just sitting back there i only think when i did glance at him he was just kind of mind fuck like how did he make that funny he's he still talking he was like how the fuck is he making that funny he's so, just the host yeah. <laughs> I was behind the curtain. I was playing peekaboo with the curtain. So yeah. Not peekaboo. Shout out to the comedy union though. Twilight. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, let's get into these Come stories. On, we stories. only got a few today, not too many, because <clears throat> we have an interesting segment later yeah. that we got to get to. But have you heard about this <laughs> teenager, eighteen-year-old guy Malachi Love Robinson, who was um, pretending to be a doctor? Yeah, the young boy from Florida, yes. right? Is he from Florida? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I West seen Palm him. Beach. Yeah. Opened his own clinic and everything. Let me tell you something. <laughs> 18 years old. He can't be full-fledged American. Like. He got to be like Panamanian. Because <laughs> he got a the, mean Look at this voucher. picture, though. That picture. Boy. Like, for one, he said he was 25. I'm looking at the picture. He don't look 20. He barely look 18. Look how young he looks. He don't even look hey, 18. You know what? So the fact that you would say you're 25 and be, <laughs> I'm going to need to stop doing this pose, just, though. People made that. memes of his ass already. He like, like he how did he get away with it, though? Well, he was how? touching on them chicks. They was like, shit, little boy know what he doing. <laughs> <laughs> but you opened your own clinic? That's some G shit. That, that's what I don't that's get. That's the where, part. Where you get the, where, where you get the, where you get the money from? I just from. said he got that's the grant. really the number one. He can't be from America. He has to be from a, another country. He used one of the grants. He used our resources. So he said, they said, what you want to do? He said, hey, I'm going to start dodging on these brows. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, <laughs> give me that stethoscope. Oh, my God. <laughs> B, he said, let me get that stethoscope. <laughs> so he got caught. <laughs> what he do? This is how he got caught. Okay. A, he opened a fucking clinic. Man. So he was opening a clinic, and some of his family members were like, hold on, homie, you 18. You ain't a doctor. What's going on? So they turned him in. They some haters. They mm-hmm. turned him in. But did you see what happened, though? He just told everybody that's 18, fuck school. 
I Go know. ahead and say it. You a doctor. Like, just fuck you medical a doctor. school. Fuck that. You don't need no medical school. $200 in, that's 200000 in loans. He's like, fuck that. <laughs> I'm going to just do he what I do. You want to be a gynecologist? Let's when these chicks jump. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> here, spread your legs up up in here. Come here. Shit, yeah. Come oh here. Oh, my you God. You want some pop tarts? <laughs> pop tarts? Because he's 18. He a kid. Right. He, he a kid. So. <laughs> You're going to get a bitch filet mignon. He's like, hey, come here, Samantha. How you doing, Samantha? What's up? It's soft. God. It's soft. Ain't you soft? And at one God point, he was damn. in a hospital. <laughs> at one point, he was at a hospital <laughs> acting like great. a doctor at St. Mary's Medical Center. Mm. And that's where he impersonated a, a gynecologist. Ooh, that's when he started touching on That was like last month. That was just a month ago when like, this happened. Oh, no, last year when that happened. Mm hmm. And um, he was telling them chicks, let me touch that fiddle faddle. That's what he said. Not a fiddle faddle. There you come. No. <laughs> fiddle faddle. That's some old man but shit. Yeah, he know. <laughs> fiddle faddle. Know. I can't. <laughs> I can't do. Yeah. I, I just want to know. Where no, he, he saw Doogie money. Hauser and he said, shit. He had to. Fuck that. Mama, I'm going to be that. He yeah. got a whole bio on his website, too. <laughs> that is. That is. That is the G-ish shit I've ever heard next to the Black Panther Party. That is That boy is a G. He's he a said I, he utilizes physiological, psychological, and mechanical methods. These methods apparently include air, water, light, heat, and earth. What is he, Captain Planet? The fuck? No. Homie, like. He said, you know me? what? Dr. Somebody, Captain some, Planet. <laughs> Dr. Captain Planet in his mom. He got, he got a bag of that ill. <laughs> Something. Okay. Like, what the fuck? He started tripping and then got in the mirror and said, you know what? Take me to the costume store. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just... Pick an outfit. And he ran through the outfit and said, you know what? Doctor. This happened before. They made a movie about about a guy that did that back in the 70s. Remember that? That Leonardo DiCaprio movie? But he didn't. Set. He posed as, like, different He was a doctor. Types. He was a, a doctor. Lawyer, yeah, a it fucking... was like... Everything he was a kid, and that was based on a true story. But this kid, I mean, he in the he had a staff like he in one of these pictures with two women posing. Like this shit is legit. Like y'all employees though, y'all on mm. payroll. Like mm. where fuck? where did he? Okay, his theory is a grant, but how much fucking money would that cost? I don't know. It's about two four. It's about a quarter. About I have no idea. About well, a quarter million. He got arrested clearly because an undercover detective. Um. Well, he did Was a physical a exam. On the chick? Probably. She wanted that. So he did a physical exam <laughs> and gave medical bitch. advice to she her. That I'm assuming it's to her. her. Ass -ass bitch. And that's, that's how he went. That's how he got um, arrested. <laughs> but he's out on $21,000 bond. <laughs> 20, 21000 with touching on chicks? He got it. He'll be out. Clearly. I mean, you he open the it. clinics and Somebody shit. Somebody got, got it. Stacks. CNN put him on TV. He's like, man, give me that go ahead. Give me that money. That shit was funny. The memes are hilarious that what are floating is, around social that? media. What is that? What is that? Is that for real? Okay, yeah. So the next story. I'm going to let B handle this. <laughs> Hookers for Hillary. Hookers for Hillary. <laughs> Hookers for Hillary. Right? No, 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 this is dead ass. Right, right, right there. In Vegas. Hookers for Hillary offer extras to Nevada Clinton supporters. Here's the thing. They don't really say what the extras are. In the, Clearly, in the, you know. I mean. That is yeah. crazy, dude. Yeah. I have never. Wow. Y'all yeah. know we in the last days. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the church folks. So a group, of, folks. a group of Nevada sex workers are calling themselves hookers for Hillary, and they're trying to arouse interest for Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Mm. A head of state's caucus on Saturday. Mm. So the group includes 490 workers. Workers, workers. They be working. They work. <laughs> That's work. How many hoes out there? Well, four ninety is in For this her. group. Mm -hmm. It's four hundred and ninety bitches that formed this group. Hookers for Hillary nah, they and black? various legal brothels too. Nah, are they black? Probably not. Mm -hmm. Mo I mean, the pictures we it's see, picture all right these here. girls. That's, That's like one black. You girl. see how they threw race? Maybe. No, I see a few. One, two, about, three. It's about, about three. three. About, about three. About three. three. But, yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, what is? Out of the four ninety, it gotta be some black chicks, but they only it's they only really want Hillary to win because um, they feel that she will keep if he, if elected, still keep Obamacare because Obamacare allows us to get health care without classifying us as illegal workers. So that's really why they're pushing for Hillary because they just think that she won't get rid of it if 
She's elected. So let's but then Nevada, this. though, I thought it was legal there. How would they be considered illegal? Is this. Well, for health care, though. Uh, I don't know if health care, like it's legal in that state, but. I mean, gay marriage is legal now, but still certain shit, you know, they still can't get. So it's mm. the same thing. So mm. I guess that would be um, this, so I hope y'all not the, the problem. I'm about to talk about them bitches. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah it is. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. But they did ask serious. And they are offering a free lunch. For real? Then they say a free lunch and extras, right? Extra services. So you mean? But y'all so, hoes. So you doing everything anyway for a fee? So what the fuck what, is an extra? Like what, what else? What? What? Just outside of what's your fee? They doing that shit. Come on, that's like a given. See, that ain't like that's just with the lunch. Like, Steve Harvey said it a long time ago. White people are always quick to jump on some bullshit. <laughs> he said it earlier. <laughs> oh, white people. You see the shit we living things. in? Whores. For Hillary. For Hillary. For Hillary. Now, now, Hillary. now, let's say now you 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 you're, you're female. Mm-hmm. Would you want to see dude in there? You want to see her in there, Hillary? Oh, would I want to see another man elected? No, Hillary. Oh, if I want right to now she's a pimp, mm, so I call a dude now. So. I'm debating. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What about who you? I'm, I'm electing you yet or voting for yet. I ain't into politics. I I, I don't like. Politics. I haven't decided like, yet. I'm gonna vote for somebody, but I ain't into. Politics. I mean, it's between. Bernie and, and her and her, yeah. but I just got it. I haven't decided yet. By November, my mind, you know, I'll be ready. So y'all ain't gonna ask me. So y'all ain't, <laughs> well, go, y'all ain't gonna ask me. So ain't nobody gonna ask me. <laughs> like I hope so. Girl, Who you want? You ain't got that much time. Don't say Donald Trump, Joe. Okay, Please so wait, Donald Trump. before you even start, because the next story is about Donald Trump. Is it? Yes. Okay. So an island in Canada will accept American refugees if Donald Trump is elected. <laughs> <laughs> So this island in Canada, I mean, it's a joke. They set up this website basically to just. It's a joke? Yeah. It's a joke. I know it would have been like dope if it was for real. But they do have this information on the website for real, but. Yeah, he must. So don't worry about it. They can't just, uh, like this island just can't be like, come on over. We'll take, like, nah, Canada. He, like, you have to still have citizenship. Yeah, they, he like, <laughs> But this. This island, I want to say it's Cape Breton. That's what it looks like. B R E T O N. Breton, Breton, Breton. Yeah, that's Pensacola, Florida, girl. <laughs> so they're like, Fuck if Donald me. Trump is elected, y'all can just come on over here because that would be fucked up if he becomes your president. I want to know who he's voting for. Who? This guy. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm freeing all the political prisoners. Larry Hoover, um, <laughs> Jeff you know Ford. What? said Larry Hoover. That's um, why I'ma just ignore um, everything that he just said. Motherfucking <laughs> Larry Hoover. I'm I'm re- I'm freeing them all. For it, yeah, I'm freeing them all. Yeah. For free- who are you voting for? <laughs> who are you voting for? <laughs> oh no no, Obama out of it. So that's it. So that's all that you give yeah. a fuck about. Yeah, fuck them all. <laughs> I am genuine. Because I only sad, like though. I don't only like small government. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm about. I only like small government. We don't need a million motherfuckers, and we're not doing. Here's my thing with that. People are fucking starving here. We have bullshit going on in the United States. Lots. I can't, me and B can't catch a fucking cab. We can't walk down the street. Because I look mean. He look quiet, but that don't mean (laughs) he won't bust a fight. You Mm. know what I'm saying? Um... And racism still exists, so I don't give a shit so about you, either So you feel them. like electing any of these motherfuckers ain't you know shit who changing, you, basically? You know, you know what would be dope? If they if they elected Farrakhan. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. Man, I don't know how it, it would be. I don't know how I'd feel about that either, though. No, it would just be, y'all just won't, we just won't see y'all. Clearly. We just won't see. No, Women no. won't have a voice. You know, we'll see bitch. y'all. We'll see y'all, but you you know your Barely. place. Barely. You know your place. Clearly. That's you know why I would place. never elect that motherfucker. Um, but you know, it's, it's, it's funny, but you know, I, I just think people just, <laughs> I just think people like to see despair. You know, I think people like to see that. So know. what if Trump is elected? How would you feel? <laughs> I would move to to fucking, this island. No, not that place. <laughs> I'd move line. to Cape Breton. <laughs> if ain't no brothers gonna be there, <laughs> <laughs> if there ain't gonna be no dance oh hall, ain't gonna be jerk God. chicken, ain't gonna be no 
Something about some love. We can turn it black real fast if enough of niggas move. <laughs> you already know how we do. Well, you, you think we go to Mars? <laughs> you they, know how we do. They trying, they trying to put, I think it was like, there's a couple celebrities that have property on the moon already. Y'all yeah, I did read that. Let me get the fuck out of here. Enough money. Anything can happen. It's I retarded. have. I read that, though. It's retarded. On Mars, nigga. They put it on the candy bar. These motherfuckers know what they've been doing. TV run the world. Put it on the candy you don't think bar. TV run the world? How I the do. fuck? Did did uh what's the boy name from Austria? What's that goof ass nigga? Who? Uh, Governor on. Schwarzenegger. Oh, Aust- is he Australia, not Austria, right? Oh, Austria. It's Austria. Austria. I don't fuck with. I him. thought he's Australian. Once he tried to, he tried to eat and free none of the brothers in the penitentiary. Say it again. That's how you say it when you're down south. We <laughs> he said You say it. penitentiary. Yeah, you don't say penitentiary. You say penitentiary. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger should have never been elected for any. They got they got dude. No. What's the racist dude now? No. What they call him? Uh, Trump. Like, That's what on. I'm saying. Like, like I, fuck them all. But he bold enough so you can deal with racism like that. Then he's winning in tons of states. Like I can't yeah, deal. Moving. Like I'm shit, moving. I may have to move to this little island though. Fuck that island. We gonna stay in or town. here in France because they um, gangster as hell. This dude talk about this French. Restaurant I want to hear this one. This owner. One. Bankers for. Should I? Yes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> like, yeah. French restaurant bans bankers for denying the owner of that restaurant loans. <laughs> so basically, he'll let everybody in there unless they're a banker. So he'll accept dogs into the yeah. restaurant and not bankers. He said they got to pay a $70,000 70, or $70,000 pound cover to come into his restaurant. An entry fee. That's his shit. Because he's pissed because he's been trying to get a seventy, well, seventy euro, which is seventy-seven thousand dollars equal to seventy-seven thousand dollar loan to open up a second restaurant, and he keeps getting denied by like every bank, but he doesn't feel it's for a good reason. So why why they keep denying this nigga? I don't know. Let's move on. <laughs> y'all ready? Y'all ready? You want me to tell you what the word I, don't I got for that? I know why they keep denying Y'all, him. y'all want me to tell you about the, the reason why this is even on the internet? Y'all ready? It's one word. Me and my daddy said all the time. Y'all ready? What? Privilege. Yeah. White I was thinking privilege. that too. Keep going. Because he is white. Yeah. Anglo-Saxon is really what he is because he in France. He is definitely yeah. white. Mm-hmm. He's a Protestant. But these people are not. Um... So this hungry. Let me hear this one. Let me hear this one. This one look good. Angry Wendy's customer bites an employee Man. for fucking her what up. <laughs> but guess where she bit her? What she bit? On the kneecap. Bitch, why are you even down there? Like I don't. <laughs> yes. That's the lady who bit somebody. Yes. Yeah. Why are you? Who bites on the kneecap though? They gave somebody gave her bath salts. Like clearly, that's how she looked. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Black people don't do shit like. Because they said she was super angry. This happened in uh, Richmond, Virginia. Oh, so yeah. she was in the drive through And you know how sometimes when, like, your order will take longer and they have you pull over and then somebody will come out and bring you the order? That's okay. what happened here. They brought it out. It was wrong. This bitch get, jumps out the car, chases after the employee uh-huh. into the restaurant to fight her. Somebody got the employee, it. like, bitch, not today. So no, I'm gonna tell you they what fight. <laughs> And somehow this crazy ass lady jumped, she jumped over the counter and attacked the employee and bit her on the damn knee, though. <laughs> you on know who knee. that was, right? That was the boyfriend, bitch. That's all. <laughs> and the then the, the employee was like, I've never seen anyone that angry. Like, yeah, yeah. was this about some other shit yeah. that y'all ain't talking yeah. about? She was like, that whole <laughs> Wendy's lady. burger? Like, nah, I don't. She just <laughs> wanted to be petty. Like, that bitch. Bitch, you know I said no tomatoes and onions. <laughs> like, how you that and mad? You gonna slid that on there. Wait a minute, that look like Patricia. I'm gonna kill that bitch. <laughs> and then they said the employee was there the next, like back at work the next yeah, day. She, I'm gonna need, a, some nah, I need some time. I need some time. You ain't no bitch. Mm-mm. I'm not coming back to work tomorrow. Get that Sorry. shake extra thick. That bitch like, gonna shake your face off. <laughs> I just don't get. Uh, I don't understand when people snap at restaurants. Like, it's not that serious. I mean, yeah, you want your shit. Like, I am mad as hell if I get all the way home in my order room. But I'm not going to go back and fight somebody. Like, damn. For one, I ain't. Never I'm not going back out. Let me I'm going to just deal with the fuck up. I just, I think. Don't worry about it. It's not happening. 
me to go fight you somebody over no, some food? Will, we'll walk back in, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, bitch, I said no. Yeah, you know fries. I curse the you bitch out in the heart. See how you drop that? Bam. <laughs> Uh, go get the I mean, he's seen me go from zero yeah, to like a thousand matters. fast. I laugh after. But I'm just with it when it happened. Like, yeah, let's kill everybody. Because, <laughs> yes, he be I, with I, it. I really went ape shit over some catfish. Grady be man. with it, but over some food, man. it's not that serious. To fight, fight. I may snap a little bit, but They're I ain't fighting. Real shit. Just saying, mm. that's a lot. All right. That is a lot. That's a lot. I'm ready to get into this segment. Uh-oh. You want to do the segment? I'm going to let you introduce Come it. Come on, B. <clears throat> Kick it off. Let's see. So we found a segment uh, entitled The Top 12 Reasons Why So Many Good Black Men Are Still Single. Wow. Because you know it. The focus is usually on why black women are still single. So I thought this was interesting to know. They did a study. Okay. I don't know how many black men, but black men gave their reasons on why they feel they are still single and these were the top 12 just did to give some background. Did they ask all the black men because I know nobody no, called nobody me. Came, you did nobody somebody come to you, B? No. No. Nobody talked to me. All right. So how the fuck is, the, okay, but keep going. These but samples, a study is a group yeah, of gotcha. men. <laughs> it's, it's usually about 100 people. Usually. Yeah. So the top 12 answers, it didn't say, you know, where this was done or how many people, but uh-huh. I thought this was really interesting because it is always focused on why women are single. So this, I, I got some issues with some of these. Of course you so, do. Of course you um, do. I want to come on. I want to hear. Let's go. Number one, they keep meeting women with unrealistic expectations for what they want in a man. True. I can agree to a certain True. extent. Who the fuck are you to tell me my goddamn expectations are unrealistic though? The hell. Cause I got some standards and goals. Well, I don't. true. The way the way I can the way you can say that is y'all ready? Mm-hmm. We can sum it up real quick. It's in the Bible. <laughs> nope. So the we ain't Adam gonna go no, with I'm that. No, I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying. Adam and Eve, right? Okay. So, if the guy feels, how, how, well, how do you say it? How do you unrealistic say it? expectations for okay. what they want we're, in a man? My point is, we're born into sin. That ain't got shit to do with <laughs> what the hell we we're talking about. What you born mean? Interested. You can't make people like or love you. No, I so agree with that. Get the fuck out of here. Any but if I have you. certain expectations of what I want in a man, and if you don't meet that, that's See, why you that's still wrong single. That. No, like, that's, that's, that's the that. point. Hold on, hold on. That's nothing wrong with that. No. Fire, that's the point. Fire off some of your expectations. Just yeah, we'll be here all day. No, no. Just, okay, three. Time. Just throw out three. Just throw out three. Three. Just throw out three. I'm gonna just name basic ass shit. How three, about that? Three. three, top three, three, basic, three basic. You gotta have a job. Okay, that's basic. That's some, that's okay. some G shit. Come on, you got two more. Intelligence. Okay, that's a that's a step. Because I'm, I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. With I'm teasing. you. I'm teasing. Go ahead with the third one. Hmm, loyal. Depending on what that means. Those are unrealistic. How? Those aren't unrealistic. Oh, I thought you said those are unrealistic. No, those aren't unrealistic. Cool. Those it? three. Can you be loyal to me? Can you work? And can you have a be able to have a decent conversation with my Here's ass? an example. Here's an example of an unrealistic uh, expectation that a woman will throw out there. Okay. She want to see you 40 hours a week, but you hustling working and making money for the two of y'all i agree it's fucking impossible okay and so a lot of dudes will stay single because of some shit like that i agree and i think that goes into another point another what's point one another of your thing? unrealistic expect what's one of your unrealistic ex- expectations i don't I, you know what um because i think every broad is different i agree so you know, I'm gonna just get, let him get away with it. Yeah, I'm not yeah, even gonna go into yeah, why I'm he calls them broad. I'm gonna just let I know Grady by now. He don't mean nothing by y'all. Bill, go ahead. <laughs> when you he don't mean nothing by it. Put it like this, Bill. <laughs> when you ever been out with me, I'm so used ha- to have it. you ever felt that I wasn't going to protect you? No, never. You felt like, remember when they got into the, the little event at the little shootout? Mm-hmm. At the There's college. never been a time where I've been with you or B actually where I didn't feel safe. So. So my my thing is, I think every female is. This is the problem with dating. You have to get to know a motherfucker first. Okay. Drag that bitch through the years. Like, let me see what you got, cause you gonna show me the bullshit. Everybody wanna be. Oh, I wanna do this, mm, and I wanna do all around up, long up, enough. Bitch, my son older than you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop. Right. That here. comes first. 
<laughs> what do you have that you feel? You know what I'm saying? I just think people just have so many. What's the word? They just feel obligated. I think it can f- go both ways. Yeah, I feel like yeah. if you're a really good man and you have something to offer and a woman, mm-hmm. she may not have her shit together. She may have some unrealistic expectations. Most dudes, <laughs> most men, we, we really don't give a fuck. Any real dude does not give a fuck about your bread, does not give a fuck about what you're doing. It's do you get on our fucking nerves? <laughs> That's the real shit. Well, all, most women yes. get on your nerves. No, at some point. No, they don't. At some point. Yeah. At some point. Not you, all the what time. What I say, let's say this. You know, you I've made one chick that I would never get mad at her. And that's a skill. You have to be like, yeah, that's because true. You who would you have are, to that I would true. never get upset with you. You would have to master that. You know what I'm saying? So that's I a, that's can a make skill. you get mad at my ass. Well, I hope not. Number two, they keep meeting women who put them in the wrong category by writing them off too quickly as not being their type. I'm guilty of that. I agree. I'm guilty of that. Well, I I don't know anything about that. I just know that being in in entertainment, everybody feels like they're famous. Everybody feels like they... You should be on my level, and you know it's like uh, the reverse psychology. It's like no, we don't talk to bad bitches. Go over there with the rest of the bum bitches that get in their car <laughs> oh that God. they leasing, or if that's what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because we people. You know what I'm saying? So when you get to the core of a motherfucker, that's how you really know who yeah, you are. Yeah, that's you know true. What I'm and if you to... write them off too quickly because you think that they're not your type on the surface, most pretty you're chicks not really that I've getting seen, to know a guy. They have a, a stern look on their face, like nigga, who you don't speak to me. Well, get past that. And, shit, and so I, I'm that look. I always smile and be like, she don't even know. You don't even know, bitch. I had you robbed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know me, bitch. Don't do that. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I, well, I have a mean look anyway, raises, though. You know what I'm saying? I have uh, a mean look anyway, no, though. No, no, I'm saying, but we've been out there and dude be like, oh, what's up, my kid? And you be like, hey, how you doing? You friendly. No, yeah, I'm not just going to be stuck point. up for no fucking Put it like this. Yeah, can, no. I, can I tell y'all the little quick thing? We was at this lounge, me and Tiff. We was at this joint called the Crocodile Lounge in Chicago. Mm-hmm. I remember that place. I know. The yeah. bitch was like, you know, like, ugh, nigga. Look at this. Y'all see this fake <laughs> python I got on me? Fuck everybody. Not like, she python. had middle fingers on her shoulders. Like, this. <laughs> <laughs> she walked through, right? Me and Tiff, you know, me and Tiff kind of tap each other, like, oh dude, God, mean this bitch. shit. Like, look at the bitch. The bitch, look at me and Tiff, like, goofy ass niggas, you know. <laughs> Went down the steps and hit every bit of them steps. Fail. <laughs> She fell the bitch down. could not hold on to the brick oh or the wall. Oh my god! Go down and broke her nail. Tumbled down. Me all and of Tiff, them. we don't laugh because she black. We just sit there and look at her. We just look at the bitch. Fuck you. Get it was though. no reason for that. It was no reason for the diss. Right. Black people, black women, and black men do it to each other. We do. We ain't yeah. gotta. We ain't fuck the money. If I don't like you, I'm not about to. You know. You know what I'm saying? People just don't. They don't care, you know what I'm saying? So I don't fuck that list, you know. <laughs> just like you like what you like, shit. You want something to eat? Then let's go eat. You don't like ramen noodles, bitch? We can't date. <laughs> it's just that simple. Shut up, food. Number three. Let me hear. It, let me hear. It. B, you want that one, or you want me to say it? Go ahead. I don't even understand what they're trying to get. Okay, so they're not wanted because they're not needed. See, this is my, this right here. Let number hit. three is my problem. Let me hear. I don't agree with that anyway. They're not wanted because they're not needed. Too many women have told them they don't need a man. I don't fucking need a man. Like, see, this is going to get me mad. I'm going to try to bring it down. I'm going to bring it down a little bit because I'm going to get angry. That shows shows insecurity. And my whole black female feminism shit is about to come out. That's insecurity. That's insecurity in the guy. What the fuck? So the guy says he don't need They want to feel needed. I don't ever fucking need need you. That's insecurity with the guy. Clearly, I clearly, even... and oh, the, the fact... guy said, yeah, he, yes. he act like all he need a girl to be up on shit. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah he yeah. act like he needs somebody yeah. up on So all these points are from the guy of why they feel that yeah, yeah. they're single. Yeah. Whoever, whoever they asked that question, a weak a ass bitch. nigga. That's You're a, a bitch. Nigga. That's who the fuck you yeah, are. Yeah, what? Yeah, need? She don't need me, nigga. I don't ever need you. Like what? I don't. Oh, okay. I'm gonna move on. He thought his name was gonna be published. Go ahead. Clearly. He wants some attention. Number four, they keep meeting black women who don't respect them just because they are black men. Okay, so what go to the next type? one. That, yeah, that, that, that that's up. not even worth that, that Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what type of shit? Somebody respect, respect is something that you 
That's I mean, like you a fucking gift. Com- you That's like in that the shit. beginning. Yeah. You what command the- that shit. And just Both she'll respect ways. you just because you are a black man. Go ahead. Type of What's the next one? Twisted Stacy Dash shit is that? <laughs> Hilarious. Like I ain't got time <laughs> for no bo- the hell. I can't do it. Um, they keep failing, failing women's girlfriend approval test. So if the woman's friends don't like them, then the woman won't give them a chance either. Y'all think about if that. If the woman is taking advice from a bitch that's been single 30 years, <laughs> okay. then I get it. That's some bullshit. You know what I'm talking about. You know, everybody got that bitter-ass friend that can't get no dick, and she mad at you because okay. you got niggas so, okay. in your face. No, I get that. I got two. I get that point. So only if, like, okay, if one of your girls don't like him, okay, girl, whatever, that's your issue. Right. Secretly but if trying it, to fuck it, the but nigga if when you're not around. everybody around you don't like that motherfucker, you may want to pay well, attention that's, that's as different. to why. That's different. But if... That's different, but if they go in at, like, if, if she's taking advice from the girl that ain't getting no play from nobody. Right. She could just be a hater. She's well, a hater. Well, I, um. But or the she, girlfriend or approval like the test is, like, so lame and young first, to me. I like, think, who, first what? of all, they still any, do it. any guy. See, I'm, I, I was raised by wolves. Mm-hmm. I was raised by real men. Okay, so. Any man that wants approval from a chick and her girls. Her girls, he yeah. goofy. <laughs> He's a fucking goofy. <laughs> fuck her and her girls, cause one of them bitches might like you. Yes, well he just uh, is. Some probably want to fuck you. Some <laughs> chick might be like, girl, he goofy and be like, shit. Yeah, she right. fucked him I yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's you know to each his own. Yeah, you know, I'm not basing you know. who I'm with on mm-hmm. like if my friends like him or yeah. not. Uh, they keep meeting women who are not interested in him, but only in how much money they make. That's valid. That's valid. <laughs> that's that's valid. a valid joint. But you know why though? Cause that's what. We are shown. That was, yeah. We are shown that. So if if I like my son, I have three boys. So when they be like, you know, dad I like her, and I'm like, nah, I don't like her. Let's see what she talking about first. Mm-hmm. And then if it's like, they she, you know, what they call it, like an they call them thick. You know what I'm saying? She got mm-hmm. some meat on the bone. Like, yeah, but she's a whore. You can't see that. <laughs> well, can't see like it? A whore like you that. see that? He felt that. Shit. You said, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And and it's just you know what we are what we are shown. But a lot of men lead with their money too, though. So you can't expect most goofy niggas. Not lead even, with right? Let's not say, even. Let's say, no, no, no. But let's say because you can't expect a woman. You, if that's what the fuck you flashing at me and putting out that's there, get. and that's how you yeah. try to get me, we, what the fuck else you think I'm gonna be interested chick, in? Like, you know, it was I so mean, funny. It was so funny. But Tell, you attract different people when you do that too. You do. I so, was I was in Miami, right? But I, I ain't trying to be with no broke nigga either. I was in Miami. <laughs> I ain't I saying said, I'm going to go there. I had <laughs> to call saying, my like, cousins. I said, nigga, it is some bad bitches down here in Miami, right? So I said, you know, so my cousin, like, nigga, I'm going to catch a flight. I was like, nigga, you ain't got 1800 You ain't getting no flight down here. Like, Not tonight? tonight nothing? Nah, tonight? you ain't got that. No. Wait till two weeks from when we come back. <laughs> So I call, you know, so Tiff check on the club, show shit. She's like, how is I was like, look, before we get in that business, let me tell you something, G. It is a gang of bitches down here. These bitches are beautiful. She said, what they got on? And I should have known. I was like, damn, this gonna be this gonna be interesting. So she's I'm telling them how the, the physiques are and mm-hmm. shit, man. He's he like, oh, them bitches built. And I thought about it. Most niggas that, you know, got bread, they most of these bras are show pieces. Yeah. The hoe can't get a bowl of biscuit batter. <laughs> biscuit so batter. So we can't put you on $10,000 allowance for titty meat removal. <laughs> <laughs> titty meat. Jugular vein meat confiscated. Uh, you know, when they get the throat bag up mm-hmm. here and they get that rip. Oh, you know, God. get that tucked in, get that dope bag. The th- uh-huh. The throat. Yeah. Throat bag. And um, no R in ass it. and so gastric bypass, you know, all that old shit. So, so they building the body. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but Build the we, body bitches is yeah. what I thought. Yeah. So <laughs> when you see them, like, these bitches like build the bag. <laughs> yeah. But they, but they, build but the body bitch, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, but, you know, to, to, to say a lot of, a lot of times we do it, too, you know. Yeah. That's a man that's like, oh, man, she got to be this, she got to be that. But then she lacks substance. Right. She can't cook. She can't. <laughs> or even hold like a fucking conversation. You like, bitch, this bitch is stupid. She look good, but Most this bitch the- is dumb. Like, no. Like, what's the girl that's on? What's the girl on Love Hip Hop? Like, y'all got, got the ghetto? Because I'm trying to get Cardi B. Man, see? I don't even know her name. Mm. But the dude be like, oh, I'll fuck up. Like, nah, Mm-mm. that bitch go catch the. Hey, yeah, that's the you bitch fuck you gonna her. get the. Uh, she gonna get the cabs. 
wave all the cash. Yeah, you fucking Cardi B. You desperate in a mother. But I'm saying everybody likes that. Cause her titties out and she she ready at any point. I only guess. only I say this only thing I really don't like right now is that m- sisters now when I went home you wouldn't even think Chicago was that bitches got hair down to the floor. Women ever like I was it like ain't just what are like sisters a, at that ain't your hair. I bitch. don't feel like it's Justin. I mean I get you like people mm-hmm. in Chicago tend to clearly be more real than people in L.A. I, mean, I get that. See, it's, it's a change I know everywhere. that, it's a but change I mean you gonna television. get these type yeah. of people everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. What he said. Okay, we got we got probably gonna have to skip some. So what was the next one? Give a, give a good one. What's a good one? They're nobody until somebody else loves them. So not enough women see them as a prize unless they see a lot of other women chasing them first. True. That can be true. True. Agree. I don't agree. I agree. True. They meet too many women who don't really know what they want. Possibly, but y'all asses don't be know what the fuck y'all want either. So whatever. I don't know. (laughs) They meet too many women who believe that single good black men are too good to be true. Yeah, I do. Not all, but for the most oh, part. Oh, so you're saying that the brothers can't be good dudes or no? They're saying that they meet too, women, too many women who believe that, like. You're not this good. Something's wrong with your ass. Oh. Just from experience. Just I mean, from I you get. Having too many of the. the yeah, good all the shit. What she the fuck is wrong with you? Her daddy. That's all. The What's wrong not with you? Her daddy. That's all. Her daddy ain't that Because you probably her. gay. Like, you own the DL. You probably got so a gang of kids. You a good looking you married, single nigga. You gay? You hold, on, married. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, I'm hold saying hold all the things that could be. Ha- like, oh, okay. that could like, be. Because it's too good to be true. Usually oh, okay. when something is too good to be true, it usually is. That's all that I'm saying. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if everything is perfect about your ass, what's wrong with you? Mm. You sucking dick on the side or something. Like, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> something could be wrong. Larry. That's all that I'm saying. Or, 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 or my thing is, like, I don't like people that smile all day because you phony. Then there's that. Because what the fuck is so, you just happy? You just Unless smile, you just want like, some money or something. Fuck, fuck you happy all day. Fuck yeah, well. with you. <laughs> They're the right man at the wrong time. Okay. That's possible with anything. I ain't never heard of that. I ain't never heard of that. But that's why you single, though? I guess. You're the right man at the wrong time. I guess so. I guess. Uh, We got just two more. They meet too many women who don't recognize a good man when they see one. That's legit. That sounds like one of the other points they made. That can be legit. Like the whole sticking to a type. Oh, yeah. yeah. We talked about that. That's true. They go together. Uh, they don't promote all the great things about themselves boldly or consistently enough to enough women. So you saying he should be bragging? Well, most most chicks now or most dudes now, the first thing that we talk about to get the broad to liking them or, you know, is talking about I got it, I'm about my bread. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing. They, you so they're saying them. all the other good shit. <laughs> They're not talking about because they too no. busy trying to impress. And that was mm-hmm. another point. You trying to mm-hmm. impress them based on money and shit. Yeah. And I don't even know all the other good things about you. Yeah. So, so if you are somebody like me and I don't want you just for your fucking like, I don't need your goddamn money because I have my own. Mm-hmm. And that's all you talking about. Yeah, I, I could miss out on you because that's all you talking about. Yeah. You trying to like we, impress we, me with your money when I don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, we so want, I get we that want point. Her money, though. We definitely want her bread. <laughs> Stupid. That's still a weakness on the guy. Oh, though, absolutely. Though. I mean, I still she she can't buy me a charm blow pop or something. Every now and then, bitch, charm go to blow the, pop? To the alley store, pop? bitch, go get that. Right, I think I can do that. I can get you a charm blow. I don't want no shoes on the bitch. Bitch, you go buy me a a, a watermelon charm blow pop, bitch. I you can't. can go buy something like that. <laughs> Got the surprise in the middle. You feel what I'm saying? Blow stupid. <laughs> this motherfucker's crazy as hell. I feel uh, like we can come up with our own list. We can do another segment later and do a better job let me, than let me these do that men let me do did. A, segment. a lot of a lot of the issues that they that they are putting out there it seems like insecurity. Insecure, yeah, part. yeah, of so why they're weak single. Nigga shit. It's weak nigga shit. Agree. Yeah, but do you think do you think women really like strong men? Hell yeah! Well, strong well, women confident. like strong men. I mean, right. uh, okay. I feel I that. Know. I don't know. I feel like a strong, confident woman can't do shit with a weak ass man. Like, oh, yeah. what am I gonna do with you? Now, it's ironic that, but it's a lot of families that you know, because I have them in my family on my dad's side. They go for the, you know, the weak dudes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm good I seen on that. that. I was I like, ain't Ooh. shit I can do with a weak dude. And they was like, "Oh, how you gonna be? You ain't how your 
<laughs> you was married. How you gonna be That's in the, the dude? My cousins. They be like, you got them <laughs> bitches. I'm like, nah, these bitches gotta work. Though. I'm good. Fuck all work. that. You gotta work. You gotta work. Well, Grady. Hmm? You know we love having you on. Man, shit yeah. Got All the time. I have a ball. I'm going to take this green screen cord with me. I'm going to need you to shit. not steal from my studio. Though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you have something coming up, what, every, once, what Friday? So I'm like, it's Man. what, every third Friday? Every uh, fourth, Friday, fourth Friday, last, Friday. last Friday um, at the J Spot. Um, uh, Twyla is the producer. Twyla, so you know, you'll be hosting this? Yeah, Grady is the motherfucking host. And yeah. it starts this Friday, kicks off this Friday. Uh, Friday, right? so we got uh, Tony Roberts is coming through. Okay. He's just been added to the joint. Nate Jackson, uh, myself. Um, um, dang, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Well, if you all following him on everything, what time? 9 o'clock, man. 9 p.m. Make 9 sure you all check that out at Friday, the J-Spot. Last night, Friday. <laughs> Um, and, 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 you know, the and this reason is every fourth Friday of the month, every month. So I try to, so different comedians, but you'll be there every, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm the host. Yeah. Yeah. So this is maybe since August. So August till now. So, you know, we, we, we doing the monthly joint. I had to, oh, so you've been doing it. That's yeah, not yeah, the first, been, oh, no, that's the one B came to. Okay. We just switched okay. venues. When she, oh, I got you. When Twilight got be you. like, nigga, we finna move, you know, the feds okay. watch. You know, okay. Like, oh shit. You gotta pack up, put these jokes <laughs> in the back. The hey, burn it. everything. Burn all the jokes. Oh, you know, that's <laughs> just the Carter, you know, Twilight. She, she, I'm, um, uh, I'm like the Dutta man. Nino. You know, I'm the Dutta man. <laughs> Cause I'm I can't be G Money. I mean he took no, a side yeah, deal. You, you know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm the Dutta man. So, so uh, yeah. Stupid as fuck, man. Y'all don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> they know you New need Jack to figure it out. Right? You, know, well, right, you, you shouldn't be Jack watching City. this show. So but, tell everybody where to find you though. Uh, Instagram and Twitter at Grady Comedy. Uh, Facebook Ray Grady. Um, or my website www.raygrady. You know. Com. You missed the W, but well, it's fine. They, they know. know. They know. They I'm not going to be know. helping these people. They find out. Um, <laughs> but I always. But I, there's I, a flyer like that'll be on your page. Yeah, they're on my, all my social stuff. media. So, so yeah, it'd be all, fun. Um, the address and all of that. If you're in LA, you should know where the come J down, spot come is. Come fuck with me. Yeah, yeah. 55, 5581 West Manchester. There you go. Um, right there. But can I, you know, can I, you know, say salute to to the promoters real quick we got to go okay Sam gonna kick spike up. <laughs> down at mo better mondays salute to you brother um pookie chocolate sundays jeru uh twyla blw barry wallace down there in ontario he does the best show in IE. oh yeah, King the barry. IE. yeah i remember barry, going to a few of those so shows. i you know these my people man so hey shout out to all the man we are people go fuck with them as soon as you see them go fuck with them better it up ray grady i see y'all in a little while or i hear y'all in a little while <laughs> <Hear y'all. laughs> He's so stupid. So 9 o'clock this Friday. Make sure you all check that out at the J Spot. I'm going to try my hardest to be there. And I Come know you will, too. I got a table for you. As usual, follow us on all social media, uh, Instagram, social, social misconduct, Twitter, social misconduct, Facebook, social misconduct. Uh, is it radio? Social misconduct? I didn't forget. It's, on, it's, on it's really. Why? Well, I'm forgetting my own shit. Hashtag Rich Real Music. You know what? This so on that man. note, if there's no other announcements, oh my God. <laughs> no other announcements before we go. Oh, um, Black Lives Matter. You know um, what? And just love everybody. Black man. lives do yeah. matter, though. Yeah, That's we, some real shit. Let's let's through. go have some fun. Um, enjoy each other, man. And um, you know, because you're getting older, so you you know. Fuck, he gonna say I'm getting older. No, no, what I'm saying we as we as people. You we said getting you older. and you looked at you. I getting older. You are. You, are. are. you okay. We're going to cut him off right there because he is trying to call me old and shit. No, I'm just saying we 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 as people, we got to do better. I That's agree. All. I agree. B, you good? I want that hat, though. All right. All Rich right. Real Next week, same time, same place. <laughs> Peace. Rich Real Music. <laughs> You're listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B-Wall, only on L.A. Talk Radio.